in today's video, I will be showing you how to easily update all the drivers for your hardware in Windows 10. Also, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. The first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click free download and you then need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run the setup file. You now need to click on custom install and you can now choose where you'd like to install driver booster. I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. You can now choose from a few different options below as well. Once you are happy, you then need to go install. And you now need to go no thanks if you don't want to install this web browser. And then go next. And driver booster will now install. Once driver booster has finished installing, you then need to press no thanks if you don't want to subscribe to their newsletter. And we can now go ahead and deselect this option here and go scan now. Once driver booster has opened, you will end up with a window that looks like this. We can now go ahead and press scan and it will now begin to scan all our hardware and then search for the latest drivers. So overall, it's not actually detected too many new drivers for my machine, but to install the drivers, all you need to do is go ahead and press update now. As you can see, it is now warning us about disabling our security just in case it interrupts the install of the driver. I'm not actually going to disable mine, I'm happy for it to stay on, but this is obviously your decision. You can then go ahead and press OK, and it will now begin to download and install the drivers. But also, it is worth creating your own system restore point before updating the drivers. As you can see, Driver Booster is currently creating a restore point, so if anything was to go wrong, then you can restore back to the original point when the drivers were working. And I'd also just like to add, when making any changes to Windows, like installing new drivers, just in case anything was to go wrong, it's important to make sure you have all your files, important files, backed up to a portable hard drive or USB. And that is another way of installing the latest drivers for your hardware in Windows 10. It really does save a lot of time rather than having to go around downloading the drivers individually. Once the drivers have finished installing, you will then need to restart your PC. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.